Hey, we're in Waterloo today and we're doing an ultimate food tour in Waterloo. So if you're a Waterloo student, Laurier student, this is straight up your alley. I'm gonna take you to all my favorite places. When I was back here as a student, we're gonna take you and show you all of our favorite dishes and give you our reactions. So come along for the ride. Here at Mel's Diner, our first stop, I got the chicken, chicken and waffles, and it's just like chicken strips with waffles and maple syrup, sriracha maple syrup, right? So good. I definitely have better chicken and waffles, but when you're here in Waterloo, there's probably some of the better ones that you can get. How's the French toast? So good. So good. So good. Banana bread, French toast. Banana bread French toast. It seems like you gotta get the banana the banana bread French toast. It's just so good according to Nick. He's enjoying himself a lot here. So Nick was generous enough to give me some uh so there's banana bread French toast. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right? I like that. Banana bread's good already. And then French toast is already really good. Yeah. Combination is so good, and then you add fresh banana on top too. Mm, more banana flavor is always best. So the thing about Mel's is this place is an entire vibe. It has that d classic diner style, and that's what I love about it. It has like movie references, movie posters, and like pop culture references everywhere, and it's kind of sick that way. But you gotta know, yeah, if you come here on a Saturday morning, it's gonna be packed. Everyone that's been drunk is gonna come here. Everyone's looking for that hangover cure and Mel's is usually the place to go. All right, we just finished up at Mel's. The food's pretty good here, so you guys should come check it out. But my favorite is actually still Angie's. Angie's is a little further though. It's like down in Kitchener. They're closed right now, so we couldn't go. But yeah, Angie's is my favorite. And pro tip, get the kids' pancakes. Kids' pancakes are just as big as the ones at Mel's that you saw, and they're just as delicious. And everything there is like super homemade, and like the feel's great in there. It almost feels like you're going home for, for breakfast. So check that out if you're ever around. It's a pretty popular place too, so it might be very busy. So for now, we're gonna take a quick tour of the campus. Let's cue that B-roll and I'll see you guys at lunchtime. So we're at our first lunch place, it's Gulls. So they do like a traditional hand pulled noodles from like Langzhou, China. Apparently it's really good. I haven't actually tried this one. So you guys are trying with me the first time, but I hear this is a good spot to go if you want some noodles. This is Gulls Langzhou noodle. And we got their, we got their beef tendon noodle, medium spicy. When you're at this place, you get to choose like what kind of thickness you want. I think you can also choose if it's round or flat and they make them in house fresh for you, right to order. They got somebody in the back just pulling noodles all day. So it's like, you know that's fresh. And we're just gonna grab a bite. Let's grab a bite. The soup has a ton of flavor. A little bit of spice, but you just get a ton of like the beef flavor after it being like stewed in that broth. And the noodles are actually cooked very tenderly. They're not very chewy. They're like nice and soft. And we got some of their tendon, or this doesn't look like tendon though. Like it comes with like brisket and tendon. Mmm, and it's hella soft. Mm, super tender. Like that, that beef is actually like really good. This is like a like very solid place. Especially for Waterloo standards. I gotta say Waterloo standards overall for food isn't the greatest, but this is actually pretty good for Waterloo standards. If I was still a student, I'd definitely be getting this all the time. Ooh, Nick, eating old noodles. Oh, that noodle pull. That noodle pull. <laughs> Oh my god. That's when you know it's good, the slurp. The slurp. So we're out here in UW Plaza. This is right beside University of Waterloo. I'm gonna just share with you some places that I think are pretty cool. So this is Auntie's Kitchen. This place has some nice Indian food. Um, they do a crazy good butter chicken, but pro tip, you gotta ask for their spicy ketchup and their garlic mayo. Mix that in with your rice and your, and your chicken. It tastes so good. That's actually like the best part of it. Nuria Village is a pretty solid Korean joint. You guys can go there if you want. It's pretty decent. A lot of people go to Cabbage Pizza for some late night pizza because they're open until like 4 a.m. If you're drunk, you want some pizza, Cabbage Pizza is the way to go. And if you want a gigantic pizza, gigantic, get their Kahuna. 24 inch pizza, 
24 inches, as big as like, as wide as your monitors. Oh my God, Eastside Mario is close too. Probably because they did unlimited uh, soup and salads and then everyone would just eat that and not eat their mains and take that home for the next day. Now there's the alley. The alley, you can get some bubble tea there. That's a good place. You'll probably recognize it if you're from like Toronto or Richmond Hill, Markham, that area. They also have it. They also got Laziz if you want some shawarma. It's a decent place, but we're going to Soul Soul for their pork bone soup and they got some of the best side dish potatoes ever like i've ever had they're like the best potatoes i'll share with you guys i'm sure you guys will like it all right this next one's soul souls pork bone soup pbs come to tang if you will dude this one is like super tender it falls right off the bone you can like literally use your spoon and dig through it and you can get all the meat off the bones already so it's like super tender it's been boiled in that soup for hours It's so tender. The flavor of the soup is actually really nice too. It's like nice and spicy. It's like, you can taste that there's really a lot of spices and different herbs like put into the soup, which makes it really delicious. That pork bone just like adds so much flavor to it. Like you boil down those bones and flavor just like releases into that soup, you know? And as I mentioned before, the best things are these potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. They, they've, been, they've been sauced up with like, I think it's like, sesame oil, soy sauce, maybe a bit of honey, cause it's like sweet, it's salty. This one's lacking a bit of sauce. I think when you do takeout and have it like this, there's not enough sauce in here, but usually they give you like a bowl of it and it tastes really, really good. They're like the best potatoes, but these are actually slightly disappointing compared to before, unfortunately. Maybe it's takeout, maybe it's their standards. I don't know. You guys try it for yourself and see if you like the potatoes, but this is a, uh, Pretty good pop on soup. All right, so I'm, I'm being told the Korean community might get mad if I don't review the kimchi. So, uh, Yane, I'll eat some of the- No! I dropped the kimchi! Yo, it's over, no! It's, over, it's, it's blasphemous! No! No! I'm sorry! Burn it! Yane! Yane, What the fuck? Just, 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 it's like, it's a way more sour kimchi. And that's not the kind of style that I like. I like a much, like a spicier, less sour kimchi. This one's too sour for me. So I'm gonna stick to the rice and the kandratana. Popon soup. We also have to get the alley. The alley, probably the best bubble tea in Waterloo. They have like the alley, cha time, gong cha, share tea. They have a bunch here, but this is probably <laughs> the best of all of them, honestly. Sweet Dreams. Sweet Dreams is no go. You go there for the board games, you don't go there for the bubbles. Coco is probably second best to Ali. If you guys are wondering where we are, we're at the new UWP cafeteria. It's actually really nice in here. They got like ping pong tables, billiards, and it's a pretty nice place to come and eat when it's too hot outside to eat or if like you can't sit in. And during this weekend, we realized that every building in Waterloo is closed, the campus at least, is closed except for this one building. So if you guys are also here on the weekends, you're looking for a place to chill or whatever, you gotta come to this cafeteria. It's at the end of UWP. It's brand new, it's pretty nice. We're gonna finish up here. We'll see you guys at the next place. All right, so we're in Solid Plaza. They got like Laziz, Smokes, Thai Express. No, normal knickknacks, you know? Like nothing nothing spectacular in this plaza. This cha time. Hot Star is pretty good. I don't know about this location, but overall, Hot Star has a pretty good fried chicken. Fat Bastard Burrito doesn't do it for me. And there's Bimas. Bimas were long. Apparently it's a really good place. I've never been there. They sell like Southeast Southeast Asian food and they're supposed to be really good. Oh, and then this place, Boba Boys. Nah, 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 you, stay away from Boba Boys. It's not a place to go. Do not go to Boba Boys. Very clear, do not go there. There's also an all you can eat sushi place around here, but honestly, there's a better one in Uptown Kitchener called Kinkaku. So if you guys actually want all you can eat sushi, Kinkaku is the place to go. This isn't, this isn't it but that one's a little far, so I understand if you come to here instead. Right here at the corner of University and King is the Starbucks Plaza, CIBC, and where we're going, we're going to Mosey's. Mosey's like right down here. We're going to Mosey's and honestly, it's the best shawarma I've had. Like, I don't think I've been to a better shawarma place than this, so I'm excited to have this again. It's better than those Osmos, Laziz, all of those. Mosey's is probably the best shawarma. All right, we got the shawarma platter. 
still the best shawarma ever. Nothing can beat this. I don't think we've been to any other place that's good enough. This is the best shawarma. You guys should get this one instead of Lizzie's or Osmo's. Like, those ones are pretty good too, but like, Moses is god tier. Moses is the best one. So shawarma plate comes with like the pita and the vegetables and the shawarma. So you could honestly make your own shawarma wrap. You can make your own wrap with this and then still have some left over to eat. That's probably like the best thing. And the pickled vegetables are pretty good. Throw in some of that oh rice God. with the sauce and then just toss in a bunch of vegetables. That's optional. That is not optional. You can't have a shawarma with just the meat. That doesn't make any sense. Rolling the shawarma. Ooh, thank you. You got your own little shawarma wrap. I'm just gonna bite it right in this spot. So it's good. It's really good. Not bad. The beer has been toasted a little bit, so you get that bit of char, and you get all the flavors of everything else with the pickles. Mmm. Carmesh is so good for Sharma. Mmm. 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 He likes. He hit the piece with the, the part with like the, the most bread. It's like a bomb, we're just ripping it and passing it along. <laughs> Alright, so the next one we're going to get food from is Morty's Pub. Their wings here are pretty bomb. They have some really great flavors. I'll share them all with you when we get it and we sit down to eat. Pro tip, come Mondays and Thursdays. They usually have a wing special. I don't know if it's like that anymore because of COVID and whatnot, but like originally they did have it. You can also go to Wild Wings. When we were here, when I was in school here, Wild Wings Wednesdays, half off. Both the places are pretty good, but this is one of our favorites, so pick it up now. This place has got like some gigantic wings. So like back in the day when you get the special, like on Monday and Thursdays, you would buy wing. So it's like certain price per wing. I can't remember what it was. It might be different now anyways, but like I could only get 15, I'd be so full. Most people, like girls would get like seven. They're massive wings. Right, so now we got the wings from Morty's. We got three different flavors. We got honey garlic, dry Cajun, and sweet chili Thai. Sweet Thai chili is honestly my favorite. And I always, I always get this one. I don't get any other flavor really. Except for sometimes dry Cajun. Good, right, Luna? It's Luna's food. Luna's like mesmerized oh. by this. <gasps> she was sitting because I think she wants. She thinks you're very. Giving her a treat. Yeah, I, I love the sweetness, the honey. There's a nice sweetness and a small bit of kick. It actually tastes really good. The unfortunate thing is sometimes their wings can be a little dry here, but the flavors are really good, so I still come. I like more It's all a place to have beer and wings. I think one of the places we'll go to is a great date place, but we'll say that for when we go there. Oh, yeah. Campus pizza. <laughs> Yo, Kansas is so oh, good. The more drunk you are, the better it gets. Honestly. The more drunk you are, the better anything gets. But like campus pizza hits different. I guess at, at like 3 a.m. it hits different. We got a dry Cajun, covered in spices. This is dry seasoning. The wing is honestly slightly on the dry side, which you, I guess you kind of expect with a dry, dry sauce. But like the flavor of the seasoning is so good that I'll take the hit. I just like the seasoning a lot. If you guys like wet sauces, just go for the sweet Thai chili or maybe honey garlic. Last one, honey garlic. This is nicely sauced up. You saw that glaze is glazed up. I love honey garlic sauce. You can never go wrong. Most places cannot mess up the honey garlic. If you do, you're a terrible place. You're a terrible place to eat that. But this is uh, just pretty solid. All right. We're gonna finish all, all this food and then I'll see you guys back at dinner. All right, we got this, the Abe Herb, like their classic burger. First impressions, the patty's a little sad, but from what I remember, it was super juicy. And you can see from the entire place, the inside, it's like a tired vibe. They get live music. Usually when things are normal, they had live bands sometimes and they got like locally brewed beers. So it was a really chill place to go. I really enjoyed going to that pl this place, but I hope their burger stayed the same as what I remember. <laughs> It's not as juicy as I remembered it to be. Before they cook it to more of like a medium and when you cut through it, the juices are like running through. And it was really good back then. Now it's like a little more cooked through. So it's not as good. The burgers are all right though. Like they seasoned it well, but it's just not as juicy as it used to be. So I think overall, the construction of the entire burger is actually really good. It's just, they kind of cooked the patty a little too much. Maybe if they cooked it to a more of a medium rare, it would have been a lot better, I think. Because it's a little more like well done, 
is not as good. I don't know, test your luck. Maybe you'll get a better burger than I did. Was it like kettle chips? Used to be fries. Kettle chips are pretty good though. I like these. They're like a legit, legit chip. The kettle chips are pretty addicting. We all like munch on them and like, we just can't stop. They're really good and we can't get enough of them. Would I recommend you guys go here? I mean, it's okay. You guys can try it out and like, the vibe is good there. So that's what I like about it. But you guys can also check out the works. The works have a pretty good burger. It's just down the street somewhere on King. You guys can go there too. You can like, get different types of meat for your burgers. That's completely different. All right, I'm gonna finish this. We'll go to the last place next. So while we're here in this plaza, another honorable mention, the Mosos. They got like those wood oven pizzas. They have pretty good pizzas there. So first thing we got here is the calamari. First appetizer. Mm. I really like the calamari. Got a squirt of lemon on there. It's nice and crunchy. It's soft. You get a nice tanginess from the sauce too. It tastes like there's dill in that sauce, but it's really good calamari. This, this next one's pozzo bread. It comes with a marinara sauce and it's already doused with garlic butter. It looks really fluffy and soft. Mmm. It's really good. I love how soft it is. It's like a really fluffy crust. It's like crunchy on the outside, super fluffy on the inside. A marinara sauce is really on point. So I got the bisteca, and it's this like delicious pasta with a cream sauce, mushroom cream sauce, and steak. This steak is cooked to like a perfect meat, like medium rare or rare. I love it when it's cooked this way. Oh, it's so flavorful. It's seasoned really well with nice salt, pepper, and maybe some butter too. It's really rich in flavor and they cooked it like perfectly. It's so tasty. I really love that. And then we've got the pasta. Mm. Nice and thick with cream sauce all over it. Mm. That mushroom cream is so good. That mushroom tastes really fresh and the creaminess of the sauce just works so well with that pasta. This is like one of my favorite pastas when I come here. There's plenty to go around. We've tried, like everyone has a different pasta at the table and I think I can say easily everyone likes it, right? Everyone really loves their pasta. That's like the highlight when you come to this place. Pastas are like the very best. We just finished dinner at Enyo's and honestly those pastas were a huge highlight. I think like you can kind of skip over the Caesar salad, the table bread. They weren't that great actually. The appetizers were okay and like you can get them if you want, but the pastas are the real star of the meal and I would totally get them again and again. It's probably like the only good pasta place you can find in like all of Waterloo. So funny thing, we were actually supposed to go to Lancaster's as well for dinner, but they don't open on Sundays. And we didn't know, and, but we're here on a Sunday, so we weren't able to go. But you guys should definitely check out Lancaster's. It's one of the best barbecues in all of the Waterloo area. And I love going there. You really have to get their brisket and their ribs. Cornbread's amazing. And their size, you can't go wrong with any of them. And if you get the onion rings, they are absolutely massive, massive onion rings. So that's one of the places that I really wanted to go to this time but unfortunately couldn't because they're closed on Sundays. So you guys check it out instead. That wraps up our ultimate Waterloo food guide. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. I'll leave everything in the description box below. They're gonna be even more than what I just showed you. There's gonna be like the honorable mentions are gonna be down there too, so check them out. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be a lot more food videos to come. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, Luna. <laughs> Hi, Luna. Hmm? I'm so used to it. I'm so used to it.